Did you know that there exists a passenger plane with a waterfall in it? Yes, I'm not joking, it does exist. In this video, I will take you through the six most important things you need to know about the world's biggest passenger plane. If you ever think of splendor or greatness in your life, you will fall in love with the Airbus A380. It's not just a thing for aerospace fanatics, but a real symbol of how wild one's imagination can go. The A380 is the largest passenger plane in the world, which came in to snatch the title from the long-rolling Boeing 747. The A380, nicknamed as Super Jumbo, has a length of 73 meters and can go up to a speed of 740 miles per hour. In this video, we will take you through the six most important things you need to know about the Airbus A380, both from the inside and the outside. Stick with us till the end and you will enjoy a free bonus fact about the A380, something known by very few. Now, let's get started. Number 6. Big by all standards Apart from its length, the A380 has some incredible size characteristics. It can accommodate 853 people at most, which is the highest ever attained for a passenger plane. The 853 seats are usually parted such that there could be 525 passengers with 10 first class, 76 business, and 439 economy class seats. The A380 has a maximum takeoff weight of almost 1.3 million pounds. Its maximum fuel capacity is over 85,000 gallons, or about the same as 5,300 Toyota Camrys. Mind-blowing, right? Number 5. The development cost $25 billion and took 15 years. The project was originally started in 1988 and was officially announced in 1990. When talking about an industry like the aerospace industry, it is quite easy to think that this type of product will cost a lot to make. But the reality is that the original cost was supposed to be about $10 billion, under half of its final cost. The increase came after many obstacles showed up during the construction period, notably the electrical wiring. Airbus had to request financial aid from its owning states in Europe, such as France. When things started going a bit well, it obtained its type certificate from the European Aviation Safety Agency and the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration on December 12, 2006. The first delivery was done to Singapore Airlines on October 15, 2007 and entered service on October 25. If this is your first time watching us, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss any of our incredible videos. Number 4. Extremely Powerful Engines The A380 is powered by 4-Engine Alliance GP7200 or Rolls-Royce Trent 900 turbofans, providing a range of 9,200 miles. Yeah, I know it sounds weird, but Rolls-Royce, the luxury car brand, also makes very powerful engines for planes. These engines are extremely powerful and tell a lot about the revolutionary machines that are powering the A380. Despite the power of its engines, the Airbus plane remains the quietest plane in the world at landing. At its launch in 2000, the engine makers assured Airbus was getting the best level of technology and that they would be state-of-the-art for the next decade. But three years later, Boeing launched the 787 Dreamliner with game-changing technology and 10% lower fuel burn than the previous generation. Number 3. Incredible Silence and Comfort Despite being built to accommodate up to 853 passengers, the A380 has a floor space that is beyond the standard. The A380's cabin has 550 square meters of usable floor space, which is technically 40% more than the next largest airliner, the Boeing 747-8. That is enough space for people to feel free and less congested on the plane. Additionally, to deal with the recurring passenger fatigue on long trips, the cabin has features such as a quieter interior and higher pressurization than previous generations of aircraft. The A380's interior illumination system uses bulbless LEDs in the cabin, cockpit, and cargo decks. The LEDs in the cabin can be altered to create an ambiance simulating daylight, night, or intermediate levels. On the outside of the aircraft, HID lighting is used for brighter illumination. Still, on the comfort side, the designers of the A380 have made sure that the seats reclined to full flat beds. Emirates, who is the biggest purchaser of the A380, has, for example, economy seats 18 inches wide and have a seat pitch up to 34 inches. That is unheard of. Number 2. Great Side Attractions 
The core function of a plane is to move you from one location to another via air. But for the Airbus, the A380 is meant to recreate a whole new different experience. The A380 includes two full-length decks, allowing airlines to include features like bar and lounge areas, also featuring the lie-flat seats in business class and private suites. When first entering the plane, you'll first be attracted to the stairs who give access to the upper deck in the magnificent plane. The aircraft's cabin air gets recycled every two minutes. There is also, of course, a waterfall in the plane. A real one. With water pouring down in a plane flying over 80,000 feet in the air. Number 1. Best First Class Comfort Ever It's true that first class passengers always get the select treatment in the plane. But once again, the Airbus A380 and the airlines using this plane have taken that experience to a different level. There are two shower spas in the first-class cabin with walnut and marble interiors. The first-class universe inside the A380 is made up of 14 private suites, all on the upper deck. As mentioned, the seats in these suites recline to full flat beds and include electronically operated sliding screen doors for privacy. First-class passengers also have access to tables with drawers, an illuminated mirror, a personal wardrobe, a personal minibar, and a dining table for in-flight meals. That is like a private jet experience. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Now we want to hear from you. Tell us which one of these features excite you the most about the A380. Here's your bonus fact. Airbus will not continue to produce A380s after 2021. Despite the greatness of the plane and its unbelievable price of about a half a billion dollars, the Airbus management was not able to recover the financial investment made into the plane. Airbus concedes that its $25 billion investment for the A380 cannot be recouped. On February 14, 2019, after Emirates reduced its last orders in favor of the A350 and the A330neo, Airbus announced that A380 production would end by 2021. Very sad news. We would have wished to have seen more of such magnificence flying around in the air. Thanks again and see you next time.